again, God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Um, God is good. God is just good. Amen. Um, I want to give you all the announcements for um, today and just happy Wednesday to you all. Happy um, September. Um, if you weren't able to join us for communion, we pray that you're able to go back and listen. Amen. But we are just grateful when we always are able to come together in fellowship. Hallelujah. It is good for brethren to, to dwell together. Amen. And so we're just happy and honored to be with you all on tonight. Um, as far as the newsletter, if you are, Baby, that's me, y'all. Let me help that. Um, if you all are not registered for the newsletter, please do so. All right. Um, you all can stay up to date with what we have going on. I'm not just talking about you all. I'm talking about anyone who may come back and watch. Amen. You always can go back and you know, listen to Bible studies and communion and prophetic words and um, messages, all right? Um, and so those things are there on the playlist um, uh, under our YouTube channel, all right? So we are selling the anointing oil for uh, $5 and then there's a $2 shipping charge that you will see that's included and it comes with a handkerchief. And so that the handkerchief, we know that people have been healed. We've had so many testimonies from um, these handkerchiefs and, you know, just people being healed according to the word of God and because of prayer and consecration. And so we know that the Lord is still working miracles. Amen. He's still working miracles. He's still moving. He's never going to stop moving. All right. He still works miracles. Amen. All right. If you tune in and this is your first time, I want, we want you to know, the Kingdom of Ancient Ministries wants you to know, resoundingly, that, that the Lord still works miracles. Amen? All right. So according to Acts 19 and 12, we know that people were healed by handkerchiefs. Amen? And so this is what we stand on regarding that. All right. Um, as far as the fire and glory prophetic encounter, we are coming. Um, it's approaching very, very quickly. And we are excited about what God is going to do, how he's going to meet us and what he's going to do in the lives of people. Amen. And so if you would like to be a part of that, if you will, if you're coming and would like to be baptized, please just let us know if you're bringing your spouse and you would like to go out with Pastor V and I to dinner, you can do that as well. All right. And we will give you more details regarding that. And then let's see, Lofty Ground. Lofty Ground is the nonprofit that works in conjunction with the ministry. Yes. And we have um, a resource and library for you to look at. So you can always go on our website, the Kingdom Advancing Ministries, and you will see that um, link there in conjunction so that you can have access to resources, natural resources that we need to live. Amen. Amen. Natural resources. All right, so that means like computer skills, things of that nature. You may need some assistance and it's A-OK, -okay. all right? And that's what it's there for. So we just wanted to share that. And that's all I have. Amen. For now. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, good evening, everyone, again, again, and again. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in on this Wednesday. Hey, listen, I just wanted to come in and, and, and say a couple of things about a couple of um, announcements and a couple of different things. First of all, the oil that um, we always mention or we mention from um, periodically. Listen, we're not in. We're not selling miracles. No. We're not selling the promise of miracles, other than the fact of God's word promises that He will heal, He will deliver, He will set free. The oil is just something that we that we do. Listen, if we can get the oil for free, we will give it for free. But because there's a cost to the ministry, we just ask that you just help us pay for that cost. And that is just it's a a a a is just a response and an action of a of a correspondence response to our connection in prayer that when we're praying for others that we anoint them with oil. Yep, yeah, I understand. And I so understand. we just want to make sure that you understand that that the power doesn't reside in the oil; it resides in your faith to use the oil to use and to exhibit the word of God in whatever you pray for believing that you receive that when you pray. It's just a covenant connection, the oil is, that yeah, we want to make sure. And so I want I want that to be clear and want to make sure that people understand that. And also, listen, listen, 
the um the messages that are on the um the TCAM website. Therefore, you and those and YouTube for you guys to go back in and listen to and to, to make yourselves available. If you miss the messages or something that was said that you wanted to recapture, go back and listen to it. And so that's why that's why the messages are on there and we and they're saved so you guys can go back and just make yourselves accountable to the word. That way, listen, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So in order to, in, to, to build your faith and to, and to can, in, increasing your faith, Faith comes by hearing. You have to hear the word. Hear the word. The word, the word, the word. And that you will grow by them hearing the word. Amen. And so I just wanted to share those things with you. Again, happy Wednesday. My name is Pastor V. And this is my beautiful wife, Prophet Tiny Lofty. We thank you guys on behalf of the entire TCAM family. Thank you guys so very, very much for tuning in the Bible study. Um, and listen. Yeah, I know how I am on Bible study. So bear, so kind of if you if you if you if you're new to Bible study, just look at the neighbor to your left or your right or up or down and just say, he just that just passes me. He, he good, everything is good. I I listen, I do crowd participation. I tell y'all to holler back at me. Y'all can't holler back at me, but shout put something in the comment in the chat. Let me know y'all on here. Y'all ain't falling asleep, y'all ain't doing something else, y'all ain't watching a movie by listening to me at the same time. Turn off all the distractions around you. If things that are distracting you, like, come on, tighten in and, and let's get involved in the word on the night. Listen, because we want to grow. Our endeavor to come in on every Wednesday is that we will grow in the things of God and God will help us and move the kingdom agenda forward. We are being attacked. We are under attack barrage. And listen, not just the body of Christ, but you guys as, a, as, as partners and believers in the body of Christ, you, your lives are under attack as well. Amen. So if you can, come on off camera so I can see your face and we can holler back at each other. I can see if I say something that makes it mm, make you look like you done ate something, one of them crab babies or something. It make it, mm, that wasn't right. Mm. <laughs> I, listen, I love seeing all that. Oh, my. I love seeing up because listen, it helps. It not just helps us, but we. I also we want to encourage you guys to listen. We 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 authored some books. Yeah, Pastor V was an author. Can y'all can y'all believe that? Somebody who they didn't think would would make it out of high school, would wouldn't make it to do anything in life. I listen. I authored a book with the help of the Holy Spirit, calling what. Do you do when you're running on empty? And Providence, you wrote a book called what? Mm -hmm. No, baby, you don't put me all on the stage. Death, hell, and the grave. Death in the grave, death, where is that state? Death in the grave, where is that state? Listen, I knew more than she knew. She was like, mm. Listen, listen. <laughs> death in the grave, where is that state? Where is that state? So we, so... We will come back. We'll be talking about that a little later. We, we that we gonna we, that that's the day is not the day. We're not gonna push books and we're not talking about books, but we're gonna um, we just letting people know. We just letting you guys and guys absolutely what's going on. So hey, listen, I'm gonna pray and then we're gonna get right into the word. Amen. Well, Father, I thank and praise you, Father, for this time the fellowship around your word. God, thank you, Father, for those who are on with us live and those who may be watching. God, thank you, Father, for their time and their attentiveness to come and their willingness to come to the T Cam. Uh, family and join us in Bible study, God. Let something that be said on today, God, that will move and change their lives forever. Amen. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Father, that the word of God is, is sharp and is sharper than any two-edged sword, God. We thank you, Father, for hallelujah, that is just hallelujah, being able to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway, God. Oh, God, I thank you, Father, that I yield myself to you, God, that I decrease, that the greater one may increase. Have your way on this evening, God, and that the gifts of the Spirit will be in full operation. Heal, deliver, set free, God. Do what you do best, Father. That's change, Father, what seems to be impossible, Father. That's correct what needs to be corrected. Oh, God, we give you glory, honor, praise. It's in Jesus' name we thank you. Amen and amen, amen. again. Again and again. Good evening, y'all. Hey, listen. Man. How many of us or how many of you guys, well, let's talk, we'll talk, we family, all of us on here are, have gone through or gone through life where, where there's challenges and certain things that have challenged us in our lives that may be causing us 
hallelujah, the, the question to doubt what God has placed in us. Now, listen, we are, if, now I can raise my hand. If you are saved, sanctified, filled with God's precious Holy Spirit, then listen, that's you. Give me a five, high five in the chat or something. Because let me know. I want to know who we talk, who I'm talking to on the day to make sure that we all on the same place. And listen, if you're not there, we're going to get you there on the night. Amen. And so listen, what an awesome gift that God has given us by giving us his Holy Spirit. And so I so with that being said, that very gift of the Holy Spirit that dwells on us always has to reassure us of what we have on the inside of us. Because we as humans, we question ourselves. Sometimes we struggle with being able to make it to that next state, that next state of life, that next day that God has promised us, full of mercy, that he told us when we wake up in the morning, that brand new mercies are ours. And so we, we sometimes we have to, listen, the Bible tells us that we ought to encourage ourselves. But if you don't know what to say to yourself by having the spirit on the inside of you, you'll tell yourself, constantly reminding yourself that you will fail you. You'll never succeed. You'll never be what you what you dreamt that you would be. Circumstances around you will always dictate to you and always will try to dictate to you what you can and cannot do. And so even as believers, we all we we got the power of God in our lives a lot of times when we don't see things happen, when we believe things happen, we question things. So I want to talk, we want to talk about on tonight. It's already in you. Turn to look, point to your neighbor up or down level. Tell, tell him it's already in you. <laughs> if you have the power of hold of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you, it's already in you. What do you mean, Pastor V? It's already in you to be prosperous. It's already in you to be victorious. Hey, listen, a shocker. If you're already healed, you're already whole. You're already what God has decreed before the foundation of the world for your life. It's already in you. Good God. Hey, listen, I'm preaching already. It's already in you because, hey, listen, y'all, we have to encourage ourselves. We have to remind ourselves what is in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, but I want to share, listen, we I was we was we was we was checking out a, a, a little movie, but we had to get ready for Bible study, and it was about the the um the, the, the Williams sisters um story, and they had to dad had to always and mom had to always remind them what's in you. Woo! Listen, how great is it even for us as believers, as children of God, that we have our Father always encouraging us. Come on, Billy Jean, it's already in you to be to finish. Come on, Tierra, it's already in you to go out and conquer what I've, what I've given you. Eyes haven't seen. So if my eyes haven't seen, God's eyes seen. Woo! Hey, man, y'all better. Hey, listen. If, Zach, listen. Even though we challenge with certain things, he's not. And because his power and his love lives on the inside of us, we just got finished singing them songs. He's a good, good father. He wouldn't be good if he didn't make things happen for us that we didn't think would happen. We couldn't call him good. He brought us out of darkness and placed us in this marvelous life. If he didn't do that, he couldn't be good. Woo. Oh, man. Y'all looking at me. I'm going to look back at y'all. Come on. Y'all better come on out there. I'm talking about I'm talking about our God on the night. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about our God. I don't boast in myself. I'm boasting in the goodness of the Lord on this eve. And man, we serve a mighty, mighty, mighty God. One, the song was saying, He's never lost a battle, and we've been in many battles. We may have lost some battles, but guess what? We win the war. Oh, woo. <laughs> Second Peter. Y'all just hit him with, woo, woo. I don't know where that came from. That, that came was. deep down inside somewhere. <laughs> that was in your belly. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what that was. Amen. I'll take that's it. That, that's that praise from I'll your belly. I'll take it. Second Peter. Turn your Bible <laughs> to Second Peter. We're going to get right on this. Because listen, I, I'm so excited because 
listen, he didn't have to do anything for us other than go to the cross. And that would have been enough. But because he's always running to us when we call him, Tony, when we call him James, when we call him BJ, when we call him, man, our God is always responding to us. And I call y'all names because I want y'all to personalize it. Personalize his love and it's his listen, and not just his love, his commitment to you. Because this, we are the, we are the, we are good, and our commitment to him it is it, shaky. Our commitment to him wavers. Because see, some of us have the, that that merit based relationship. We only love him when he do something for us. But the things he we don't see him doing, can we love him in the end? Can we love him when we don't see him moving? Because listen, even when we don't see him and don't feel him, he's already moving in our circumstances. Well, not because he's already done it. He's already moved in our lives. God has given us everything that we need, Tia and Tevin, that dwells on the inside of us that pertains to life and godliness. It's already in you to be a conqueror. And not just to be a conqueror, the Bible says to be a more than conqueror. Hallelujah. That means that whatever may, may give you, may, may, may cause you a roadblock, he's giving you the power to even go beyond that. He given, he's given us power to speak to mountains in our lives. And say, mountain be removed. But the key is, look, you can't doubt in your heart that, that what you said, that you believe God will come to pass. You can't, but you can't doubt about it. Oh, man, I'm talking good. We talk, we preach good. Second Peter chapter one, verse three. For his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him. You got to know him. You got to know him. Let's park right there for a second. You, all that I read means nothing if you don't know him. It profits you nothing if you don't enter into a relationship with Jesus Christ, taking him on as your personal Lord and Savior, receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, being baptized with water. Hallelujah. We have received all these things by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous and glory and excellence. Let's read another translation. It says, let me get there, then now we'll be able to enjoy it together, amen. It says, for his divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amen. Yeah. Amen and amen. Listen, he's called us, y'all, by his own glory and his own goodness. He called us. Not we called ourselves. He called us. And how wonderful and how great our God is. He knew, Tia, he knew, James, that when he called you, that you would respond. See, some people get the call and they hang up on God. He knew each and every one of you guys who's under the sound of our voice will answer and respond to the call. So knowing that he, so him knowing that you will respond to the call, he prepares that he was going, that when you receive, he placed everything in you. It's already in you. Why so many believers live beneath their God-given privilege? Because they don't know what's on the inside of them. 
They are defeated at every hand. I was at work today and I was talking to a, a young lady. She she always, she knows me as a, as a man of God. And so she always asked me, what's the good word for the day? And I'm like, you tell me. You've been asking me all this time. You start telling me what the good word is for the day. Don't let me tell you what the good word. You start telling me what it is. What you believe in God for. What you see that God has shown you about your life. Because listen, if you can't speak it, you can't have it. Even though it's on the inside of you. Woo, good God Almighty. If you won't speak it, you won't have it. Just as God framed the world by his words, we frame our world by our words. The Bible says that life and death is in the power of your tongue. Mm -hmm. So what's in you if it's already? So what is the already that's in you? Is it, is, it, is it speaking death or is it speaking life? Because see, we curse ourselves with our mouths. We talk, we go against everything that God has promised us concerning our lives when we start dumbing down what, the, what God tells us about our lives. Amen. You had something? Yeah, and oftentimes you will see things and God will show you things and you know it's in your heart, but you won't even open your mouth to say it. It says, speak to the mountain and tell it to be thou removed. And you don't even, some of you have, your mouth has been muted for so long that you don't even think that you have enough in you to speak it. And I'm telling you, and the Lord is saying that it's already in you. He put it in you. He put it in you to do. He gave it to you. He put it in you to do. He put the book in you. He put the plans in you. He put the business in you. He put school in you. He put entrepreneurship in you. He put it in you. But you have to know that, listen, this goes beyond what I think I know. First of all, get yourself out the way. What did God say? I don't care if 25 people in your family ain't never been married or two of them got divorces. What did God say I could have? If God said I could have life and that more abundantly, then why can't I have it? What's stopping you from having what the Lord says you can have? Amen. And we're not talking from a place of not knowing. We both come from broken homes, but we've been married for 24 years. So the things that we're sharing with you is a testimony. It's a part of our testimony. Listen, y'all better don't, don't do it today because, listen, we walk by faith and not by sight. And, 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 that's, and listen, that's not always easy to do. Yeah. But if we love God, we have to trust that God already worked it out on, on our behalf. Listen, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Mm. Mm. 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 4, verse 6. We're going to start at verse 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Lord. You guys there? It says, because the God who said, out of darkness, light shall shine. Mm. Amen. He, listen, it was dark and he had, he saw light. He didn't. He, he wasn't worried about what the concurrent condition is. And so we, we can't be worried about what our current condition is. We have to see light even in what seems to be dark. And because of, because of the God who said, out of darkness, let light shine, is the one who shined in our hearts to illuminate the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. He says here, but we have these treasures in earthen vessels mm -hmm. that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, what is this treasure? The power of God living on the inside of you is the treasure we're talking about. That, listen, once you have that treasure on the inside of you, 
it, 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 it goes back to what we it confirms in us that is already in you. Woo. What you had you sound like you had something you want to jump no, in? No, I just some of you you're you're quitting. You're quitting before you can see the results. And some of you are just quitting. You've always said I quit. Stop saying that you quit. Stop saying that you quit. Change your language. Listen, sometimes you need to be quiet. If you don't know what to say, you just need to be quiet <laughs> till you know you can line your words up with the word of God and what God is saying about your life. Amen. Stop saying you can't come out of sin or you can't come out of something. Man, listen, I'm a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. Listen, go ahead, babe. Now, but you know why that's so why that's so easy for us to do? Because we haven't taken on Galatians 2.20. Come on, babe. Galatians 2.20 tells Wait us. Wait a minute, let us go there. Yeah, are y'all, come on, are y'all, I'm moving through here. I know, let us catch up with you, babe. Well, come on. Galatians what? 2.20. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you got says Galatians 2 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. Come on here. And I no longer live, Woo. but Christ lives in me. Oh, Does he live in you on this evening? Amen. That's a question that we have to ask. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, whom loved me and gave himself for me. Come on. <laughs> well, you know it's not about you. And you place your trust in God, then it makes what he's already mm -hmm. placed on the inside of you easier to receive. Mm -hmm. And now you can walk different knowing that God is in you. Come on here. Mm. There's a confidence that you have knowing that God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. That nothing you will withhold from me mm -hmm. if I walk right, right before, before you. That's it right there. <laughs> There's nothing. See, when you know what you've been promised, that's like, listen, that's like us on Christmas when we've been promised a bunch of things on, on, on Christmas. We, we're we anxiously, we can't hardly even sleep. How many of y'all couldn't go to sleep when y'all was kids waiting on when, to, when December 24th came? Man, you you was almost suffering from insomnia. You couldn't even, you, you, on Christmas Day, you played, just, you played, 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 and then come about 11 o'clock, the kids are all under the tree, burnt out. Didn't eat, didn't brush their teeth, didn't do nothing. They got to them toys. That's because they were in earnest expectation of a gift that was promised to them. Wow. Wow. And listen, mm -hmm. let me put one flipped out on his head because listen, even for us as believers, as, as adults, full grown people, we should always be excited about the promises of God. Because listen, the things are, it's already on the inside of us. We who know Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, we have a promise. And every day we get up is an opportunity for God to, hallelujah, illuminate, to bring our, bring the promises before us and to bring those gifts that we've been so death, so, so anxiously seeking before us. Hey, listen, and this is not just a message about things. This is a message about changing the way we think. Amen. Who we are in Christ. Amen. Because this, listen, what's in you is bigger than things. <laughs> because when you change the way you think, you will start seeing the world differently. Mm -hmm. When you know what's in you, you won't be contaminated by what by all this junk that's going on in the world. Men with men, women with women, children being abused. They put this, they making homosexual cartoons, y'all. What's the name of that that, that perverted um, cartoon coming called Little What? Little Demons. Little Demons. Where it's a cartoon and the um, they ushering people to hell. A little a child is ushering people to hell and other little children, right? Or people. people and um, the mother. It talks about like she was married to the Antichrist, so they're ushering in. They're getting ready. I mean, they're they're literally walking oh. people to ushering in the yeah, Antichrist. Man. And so, you know, this is where we are. You know, to say that you've had, you you have a child with the devil. 
Y'all, that this is not something. This is not, and this is why you need to know. Yeah, this and, is not a game. And, and, and listen, we're not making that up. That's oh, a no. real card. That's a real cartoon. So we're only talking about what's what they actually putting before our children. And all you. it is is to desensitize you adults mm -hmm. to forget or to bypass what's in you. Because see, listen, people put people put their holiness or their life of, of, of religion. We talked about religion on Sunday. People put their relationship on hold for the sake of the world. No one wants to be on the, no one wants to be criticized for taking a stand. Everybody wants to be, wants to go with the flow. Nobody wants to go against the grain. And where, at what cost do we allow our children and even our adults to be led astray? Because listen, man, y'all better come on in here. But see, we take this world stance and, and people, because people, people want to be attached to something. And people will attach themselves, but we have to understand the kingdom agenda. And that's why it's so important to understand who you are. Absolutely. You better. And, and know what's already in, in you. you. You better. Listen, <laughs> if you ever get a revelation that you're seated in heavenly places with him, you're go your perspective is different. Why does he tell us to mount up on wings as eagles, right? Because eagles see through storms. They don't... They, you have to study the eagle. I won't go all the way in, but you have to understand and change your perspective. Your perspective on life has to change. And that's why we were talking about you have to, your knowledge can't over, can't trump the knowledge of God because it's already in you. Listen, if we have treasures in here, our job is to bring those treasures out to bring glory to God. Use our treasures. Listen, there are so many gifts on here, but I pray that you use your gifts for good and not for evil. Amen. There are gifts that God has, listen, because the gifts and callings are without repentance, people. And you better know, listen, God gives good gifts. He doesn't take back. He's not an Indian giver. But what we do with the gifts that he's given us, that's the part we're going to be held accountable for. Yeah. And it's already in you. Greatness, is, how can you serve a great God and greatness not be in you? How could you seek, serve a covenant keeping God and you can't keep your word? Mm. How? How can God be so committed and you call yourself his, but you don't have his attributes? Amen. Yeah. And listen, that's why it's important that we can be, the Bible tells us, oh, be Jesus. not conformed. Yes, Lord. To this world. Ooh. But be transformed. Mm. We have to always be willing to, to change our, the, our thought processes because junk comes in, junk got to go out. And if junk comes in and junk don't go out, then what, then what does junk do? Junk stays in and then what junk ends up doing is contaminating your spirit. Mm -hmm. And so now the more junk comes in and it don't go out and we don't, we don't check it with the word, now it starts doing, it starts making our spirit dull. Mm -hmm. And now what, what should move us, because anything that goes against God should move us. Mm -hmm. It should. But it doesn't because some people have now conformed themselves to this world. Even those who claim to know Jesus Christ and, and, and say that, that he is Lord of their life. How can he be Lord of your life and you condone sin? Or let's, 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 let's make it easy for people to digest because unrighteousness. Same thing. Oh, listen, you don't have, you're preaching to the <laughs> choir. But people, but people need to, see, people don't like a straight reason or a straight answer. People want a placebo. Y'all know what a placebo is. People don't want to take the right, the, the, the pill. People want a placebo, something that they think is going to work, but they convince themselves that it's going to work. It ain't going to work, but they convince themselves it's going to work. And so what people do is we're concerning that people try to make God fit into whatever they want him to fit into to, to justify or to ease their conscience about whatever life they want to live. 
But it makes the word of God of none of them. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. The traditions of men. We talk, but the, 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 but the, the sad part about the world is the believers have now tucked tail and reign. Not over here. Nah. <laughs> Not at the kingdom of Max ministry. Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to advance God's agenda. His kingdom agenda. Hallelujah. Not mine. Not my agenda. I don't have one. Mm -hmm. I want to move God's ministry and kingdom forward. And I'm not, and I'm not going to do it. And I'm not willing to sacrifice any one of you guys or, mm -hmm. or our children to get along with this world. Yep. Amen. We wasn't called to get along. We were called to stand out. Light and salt. Absolutely. <laughs> but because every... Never mind. Go on. You got something? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 41 and 10. It's already in you. It's already in you. When you accept Christ, it's already in you to live right. Listen to me. Because that's a lie of the enemy. Amen. It's already in you yes. to live right. Yes, it is. It's already in you. Listen, that's why that song, oh, change, a wonderful change has come over me. The change is from the inside out. Well, here's the question. My question is, have you been changed? Mm. I know that's what we talk about, you know, because see, a lot of people have bought into religion. And they go to places because my grandmother went there, my aunties went there, my uncles went there. And it's a form of it's 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 just a it's a routine that people have gotten into. We go to church on Sunday, we go to Bible study on Tuesday or whenever day you go to Bible study, and for the rest of the, the rest of the days, I live life the way I choose to. Well, some people walk out the building and live the way they want to. For sure. Some people doing it right in the building. But what we're saying is that you can li listen. <laughs> Once you get a revelation of who God is and the power and the authority that you really can walk in, your perspective on everything will change. Because it's in you. Because it's already in you. Amen. It's we serve you. a living God. If he wasn't alive, he, we don't serve a dead God. We don't serve a God that doesn't have enough power. Listen, there's enough power in the word to make you live right. There's Amen. enough power in the name of Jesus to change your situation. Amen. He hasn't lost his power. <laughs> he hasn't lost his power. He hasn't lost his dominion nor his authority. Amen. And that same authority, he has given it to you. Yeah. Listen, when, when I was in when I was in sin, I didn't have the I didn't have the power of my own to walk away from certain things. It was only when Jesus Christ came and took up his abode that gave me the authority and the power to walk, to walk out of things that I was already in. Lord Jesus. To walk by neighborhoods that I was that I was that I was that I was that I grew up in and that I would stop and do the things that I did. Now I can walk by them, I can drive past them and don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. The pull, meaning to go back into the neighborhood and do once what I was once what I once did. Mm -hmm. No, sir. No, ma'am. That's what that's what knowing what's in you was already in you. Mm -hmm. That's what knowing what that is. Mm -hmm. And when I when I when we mm -hmm. come to a realization of the gift and the precious gift that we carry around on the inside of us, the things that we allow ourselves so easily to do, we won't easily do them. A conviction will come over you. Yeah. A conviction. A Holy Ghost conviction will come upon you. Mm -hmm. Because listen, whether we know it or not, whatever we do, we take God with us. Sweet Holy Spirit. When we have him dwelling on the inside of us. Sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, man, I'm preaching good on the mm -hmm. night, man. Y'all better come on. Amen. And so we Amen. have this treasure that's hidden in earth and earth and vessels that, carry, that we carry with us, being God, the Holy Spirit. Listen, when we carry, it over, mm -hmm. we carry that with us, we can't we won't we can't sit and allow certain things to go on around us because our tolerance look our tolerance level becomes less and less mm. just like some of us have a tolerance uh, uh, we are uh, we have a low tolerance for foolishness 
I know I do. <laughs> and it's and it's gotten even worse the older I get. I can't <laughs> listen. I don't this you this, you can't come to me with just anything. Amen. There used to be a saying in the street, and I know y'all gonna be laughing at me. Hey, listen, my name ain't Willie Wang. I don't go for anything. <laughs> y'all ain't be telling on this stuff so bad. <laughs> See, Willie, Willie Wayne go for anything. Willie Wayne? Willie Wayne go for anything. Okay. And, I, <laughs> and see, I can't go for anything. I need to come up with something smooth like that. <laughs> Tony, she ain't coming where we came from, Tony. I, no, I didn't. <laughs> I it was a little grass over there. Yeah, yeah. She ain't about that like I didn't I didn't I didn't see real grass until I was until I was well in my twenties. Oh, Even the football fields we played on as a football team didn't really oh, have grass, they had patches probably. of dirt. <laughs> they had mostly dirt because it was it was a shed field. It was a baseball field and a football field. Oh Lord. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, your tolerance level should get should, should grow as you as you as you walk through this life as, as, in relationship with Jesus Christ. We don't we we see Woo. certain things that we go through on TV. Listen, we our tolerance level should be, the media should be going off. Okay, no, 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 no. I can't expose myself to that nor my family to that. Mm -hmm. And listen, <laughs> the people who we love. Mm -hmm. We don't Hallelujah. we we can't well, listen, we can't determine whether they go whether they accept Jesus Christ or not, or they spend eternity in heaven or, or in hell. But it's our job to be a detour to them and say, hey, listen, we're holding up signs. Detour, don't come that way. Go another way. That way is the road of death and destruction. Yep. But choose life. Hallelujah. Why would you Hallelujah. choose death when life? Had, when there's a life option available to you, oh man, huh. go ahead. No, because it's already in you. Yeah, to and choose you, life. Right, to choose life. And I see where some, you know, all you've ever seen around you is death, like literal, just nothing, nothing fruitful. Amen. And so it's it's like, how can I see? But you need to, don't look through your lens. You have to see it through the eyes of God. Amen. Because if you don't, you get you have to change. Come listen, this, listen, because it the change starts on the inside. Yeah. Because see, you see yourself as dirty, but God sees you as clean. You see yourself as the old man, but God sees you as a new creature. You see yourself never coming out of this. Good God from Zion. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But God says, no, no, no. If you keep walking with me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you keep walking with me, you're going to go, you're going the right way. Glory to God. And I'm telling you by the spirit of the living God that this is your detour. And the Lord is wanting you to detour on tonight and not go that route. Yeah. And you know what that route is. The Bible says the day that you hear his voice, harden not your Jesus. heart. The day that Woo. you hear it, don't harden your heart. Mm -hmm. Listen, we mm -hmm. I've seen so many people who once walked in the things of God turn mm -hmm. and go back like a dog to his own mm -hmm. vomit, go back into a life that you were free from. And now it's seven times worse. Yeah, one passage of scripture says that when a house is swept and cleaned and all the spirits have been, listen. That devil, when that when that, that spirit come comes back. back, it comes back seven times worse yes, than when it when it originally left. That means it brings six of his friends more strong than the first. Ah, listen. So if it took you almost a lifetime to come get on, rid babe. of the one, what do you think it's going to take you to try to get rid of the the six additional? Because listen, how many y'all? Listen, I had one problem. I don't need no more problems. I tell you, I don't need your problems. I got my own. So that's like taking on more. You, so you want you want to invite more evil spirits into your home? Oh man, we talking good. It's already in you to be to live a the man to live a life of conquering. 
You live, you, it's all, God has already purposed and planned for you to be a conqueror in your life, to defeat every challenge, every enemy that comes in your life. To, listen, to receive every dream, every vision that he's given you. It's, he's al it's already in you to use your mm -hmm. mouth to, to, listen, to possess everything that he's forgiven to you. We read our first scripture was he's given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Mm -hmm. So he's given you everything that pertains to your life and the success, the well-being, the prosperity, the pleasure, the joy of your life. Amen. And he's given you everything that pertains to living a godly life, a faith-filled, victorious, godly life. Good Amen. God am I. Yes, it's already in you when you accept him. But we walk away from God. Because we lean to our own understanding about things. Or we let the devil bewitch us in the thinking that what God has promised us will not happen. <laughs> Listen, most people give up right at the door of their promise. You're ready to walk into your promised land and you give up. Think about all the Israel, the Israelites who was walking in, in who was walking in, 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 in the land. They didn't possess it because they started murmuring and complaining. What should have taken them what? A day, two days? I can't remember right now. But, yeah. A week at best? Mm -hmm. 40 years. My God. Took them 40 years because they were murmuring and complaining. And in a wilderness. Yeah. Yeah, in a wilderness. And listen, oh, go on. I, can, I can talk. We can talk about that. <laughs> Isaiah 41 and 10. In the wilderness. You guys being blessed, put a thumbs up in there. Come on. In the wilderness. Lord Jesus. What Amen. Isaiah 41 and 10. Somebody yes. tell God I receive on tonight. Mm. Come on, y'all can fit. Y'all, y'all let God. I, I, just, I receive. I God, I Lord accept Jesus. what's Lord already Jesus. in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thank mm -hmm. you for what's already in me. Oh Jesus, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus. I will cherish the gift that's already in me. Oh, yeah, man, y'all. But come on, let God Jesus. know that you appreciate Him on tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 41 and 10. Hallelujah. It says, so do not fear, mm. for I am with you. Mm -mm -mm. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. He's your God. Mm -hmm. Some more personalize that. He's my God. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for you, but he's my God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know who you call God, but this is my God. He says, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, he says, and I will help you. Mm -hmm. Listen, he's saying, if you don't know what's in you, I will strengthen you to know. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what's in you, I'm going to help you. I will not leave you by yourself. Oh, man, come on. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. <laughs> oh, man, come on. That's a word from the Lord on the night. He said he will strengthen you. And he will help you. Hallelujah. And listen, I know y'all ain't talking to me. I'm gonna talk to myself. God, I thank you for strengthening me. I thank you for always helping me. Good God. Thank you for always being my help. When even when I didn't deserve your help, when I jumped into the pit on my own, thank you for helping me out of the pit. Good God of my yeah, God. Thank you, Father. Oh man, I'm about to shout all by myself up here. Listen, listen, listen. The Lord is really moving. And I see where your vision is going. Your vision, some of you all, your vision has been blurred, skewered, actually skewered by some things that have happened, by 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 ideologies and things that you thought were that. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is saying, No, I am who I am. Good mm -hmm. God from Zion. Hallelujah. And besides me, there is no other. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants to give you a new perspective on tonight. Hallelujah. So that you know who you are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the power that works in us because of him. Hallelujah. It's not our own power. Hallelujah. It's not by power nor by might, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's by his spirit. Hallelujah. That you have the power to walk away. Hallelujah. You, you have the power to walk away from demonic activity. You have the power to walk away from anything that is holding you back. Listen, I hear the enemy on tonight, but I'm telling you, he's a liar and a thief. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he's robbed you too long of your identity. Glory to God. He's robbing you. He's robbing you. He's robbing you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he's trying to sift you as wheat. Glory to God. But the Lord is saying, no, hallelujah. Choose me. Choose me. Choose me. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, choose me on tonight. Hallelujah. You have to make a decision. Listen, once you make a decision, have you ever made a decision and stuck to your decision? You have a stance on something. It's a hard line that just won't move. Glory to God. No, no, no. I'm not going back to what I used to be. Listen to me. I couldn't go back to what I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you if I went back. To, I'm talking about myself. Glory to God. I wouldn't be sitting in front of you if I went back to what I was. Glory to God. So don't tell me there's not enough power, resurrection power in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the work that he did on Calvary. Listen, he took the keys of death and hell on your behalf, your behalf. And you're telling me you don't have enough power in you because it's already in you to get up from where you are. The devil is a liar. You're telling me you don't have enough to walk away. You don't have enough to put down a cigarette. So you telling me a cigarette got more power than the name of Jesus. The devil is fooling you. If you think that the word gospel is that watered down, good God from Zion, shot time my ear. The gospel has not changed its stance. And there's enough power, resurrection power to keep you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hallelujah. I feel the fire of God because there's enough power to purify your life. Good God from Zion. There's enough power to change you from the inside out. What can make a man who was persecuting Christians turn his life over? What can make a man who was a murderer turn his life over? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? But you don't have enough resurrection power? You're telling me there's not enough power in the name of Jesus alone? You are deceived. What could make a woman at the well who wasn't even with her husband walk away from a life of sin? Shut up, you don't tell me. It's all in scripture. It's all in scripture where Jesus changed people's lives from the inside out. And I know he changed my life and I know he changed his life. And I know he can change your life too. Your life can only be changed from the inside out. Jesus. Amen. Mm, I feel the Lord. Amen. I feel a fire. A Amen. fire. Let's pray. I Amen. feel a fire. Amen. Me. That's right. Me. Has anybody else's life been changed? Amen. Yeah. He changed. The gospel has not been watered down. He changed. Mm, yes, Lord. Who shot time my yeah. Hallelujah. Well, let us pray. Father, we thank you, praise you, Father, for this, this time of, mm. of fellowshipping around your mm. word. God, thank you, Father, for hallelujah, this word that's gone forth in the night. God, thank you for changing the lives hallelujah. of the people. Hallelujah. As they hear this word, Father, thank you for them coming to know, hallelujah, that hallelujah, they received you as their Lord and Savior, and what you placed on the inside of them is enough because you are enough hallelujah. to change the very course of their lives. Hallelujah. To make every crooked place straight in their lives. Hallelujah. That they will make the correct decisions and the correct alter alterations that they need concerning the course of their life. Hallelujah. That they move from destruction to life in the name of Jesus. They move from, hallelujah, death to life. Hallelujah. They move from health, from, from health, hallelujah, from, from sickness in their body to health, God. 
Thank you for what you're doing in their lives, mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah for deliverance, Father, for salvation coming to their home. Hallelujah, those who need to know you, Father, fill them right now with the gift of the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah, they, that they repent, Father, from all their sins, God. Hallelujah, knowing that you are the God who can change and that has changed and will change their lives. Hallelujah, and the decision that they make to serve you, Father, that they won't regret, Father. There will be a life-changing decision that they will have joy unspeakable, Father. Hallelujah, knowing that you are a God who won't fail them, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, so I've, hallelujah, I pray and I beseech them to try Jesus on today. Yes. Try Jesus yes. on today. Yes. Hallelujah, and trust him to change your life forevermore. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Oh, God, we give your name praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. They, Father, if, they, listen, if you are out there and you need a church home, consider partnering with the TCAM family. Go on to the Kingdom Advancing Ministries. Hey, listen, and, and listen, let us know you want to partner with us. We will love to have you as a partner. We will love you because most importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. Amen. Hey, listen, if you need to be baptized and you're in the D.C. metro area, hey, reach out, touch that tab. And let us know you want to be baptized, and we'll see if we can. We'll not see, but we'll coordinate and facilitate that with you. We'll get you down in water in the name of Jesus. Hey, listen, we love you guys with the love of the Lord. Check and come back and see us next Wednesday. Hey, listen, we love you. We appreciate. You. We thank God for you in Jesus' name. Be blessed and know it's already in you to be a conqueror in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.